Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you, and today we are going to make for you bone-in pork chops. We're going to do sweet potatoes, which by the way, I forgot my cooling rack. We're going to use a cooling rack on the griddle top so we don't burn the potatoes because we want the air to circulate all the way around the potato. These have already, these are sweet potatoes, they've already been microwaved. So we're just setting them on here to crisp up the skin. And we're going to do, like I said, the bone-in pork chops. Let me go ahead and get those on. Hmm. We have our butter garlic, our butter oil, I'm sorry. And let me get my tongs. And we're going to take and season. We're going to use some seasonal, just a, a mild season. You don't want to use much of this. Mrs. Griddlemaster reminded me. Remember, it's real salty. So I just put a little. And I'll go ahead and, and put it on the back side now. Just a little. Okay. So that was a whopping one minute putting that on. We're going to leave that on. I have all my burners on low. Just so we're clear here. My top is around 416 degrees. So it's between 4 and 420 is the temperature of my griddle top. And that is, I have my burners as low as they can go. So we're probably going to leave those on for around 6 to 8 minutes. We're going to see at the 6 minute mark roughly what they look like. Um, they're about 1 inch pork chops. and. Uh, we're gonna do some, some spinach. All this is done outside. So we're gonna have the sweet potatoes, the pork, and the spinach. We're gonna take all this, and this is gonna make what? A cup of spinach? But maybe maybe two cups of spinach, if that, uh, for the vegetable. And we will have um, cinnamon and butter, cinnamon sugar and butter for to cut the the sweet potatoes open, and we'll put that in. Oh, and you know what? Mrs. Griddle Master forgot to give me some some marshmallows. She wants me to cut them open, open them up, put the butter and cinnamon sugar, and put marshmallows on top. So we're gonna do that as well. So let's give this some time, and, and we'll be right back with you. All right, it's been about five, six minutes. Look how that just lifts off. Put it closer. So I'm going to put these up against the edge a little. And I am going to go ahead and cut the sweet potatoes open. And I'm going to put the butter, some butter, and um, the cinnamon and sugar. And then I'm going to put marshmallows on top so that it could melt. 
pretty warm on the hand right there. It is pretty warm. Okay. Now we're going to put some little baby marshmallows. Guaranteed they're going to overflow and fall. And what if we put a little bit of the butter oil and just drop some marshmallows right on the griddle top? Look at those marshmallows. I know this is going to make a mess, but it's a griddle top. We can do whatever. Let's see what the bottom of the pork chops look like. Oh, nice. I'm just going to set them up on the cooling rack so we can do the, the spinach. And I'm going to do the spinach right where we did the pork chops. I'm going to put in the rest of the butter. And about, about a tablespoon and a half of garlic. And we're going to dump all this spinach right on the griddle top. Wow, that was packed too. Can you see on the camera? There's a lot in here. Oh, yeah. On the griddle top, look at that. We have some chicken broth, because we want to steam this. And some white wine.
Let's close the lid and let the magic happen. All right, let's mix up the spinach. Where's it all going? Let's close the lid back down. In two more minutes, we'll be ready. So with a bigger cooling rack, we could have left the sweet potatoes on uh, and put the pork chops, got the pork chops up off of the griddle top. So that way the heat's just circling around it like a convection oven. But we're just finishing up the spinach. And here comes the rain. <laughs> I'm going to put a little pepper. So as you can see, we have four meals with the spinach, the sweet potato, and the uh, pork chop. So we're going to get some pictures of these and, and get them for you on the website. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please remember uh, the custom-made griddle top. We try to get them out as fast as possible. We're, we manufacture in the middle of the country in Wichita, and that way the shipping is cheaper, not as much to get all the way to California, Texas. You guys are some of our biggest customers, but please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us uh, on YouTube.